Should we tell him? Uh, yeah, I think it's time. Welcome to today's vlog. Is it called a vlog? Vlog. We're vloggers. Today is Friday. We the boys do not have school. It's teacher preparation day, so they can get the their grades ready, um, and we'll have the boys report on their grades. As the boys said, they have something to tell you. Um, they have been holding back and haven't shared something with you, and we've just been waiting for like the perfect time to share this information with you. And I just don't even know like how to introduce it. So I'm gonna let the boys. Here's JJ first. Jay, what's different about you? Um, my glasses. Your glasses? Did you just barely get glasses? No, I've had these for what, a year? I think a year. year and a half. Do you have to wear them all the time? No, just at like school. But I like to wear them sometimes. <laughs> so you need to wear them when you're looking at the board or when you're yeah. supposed to watch, wear them when you're watching TV. Yeah. Do you do that though? No. Should I still? We've always said that. So I'll put him back on. Show him. Look how cute he looks. Look how smart. Aww. Look how cute. Now we have somebody out big. <gasps> oh, who's that? Looks dumb. So are those your real glasses, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Just okay. recently got them. Um, make, make sure you guys go check out Lean Bio. Um, it's called the Eyeglass Store. Um, they have the newest trends with glasses. It's not a um, but yeah, you, you guys go check that out if you want to cop that trend. Look the camera and tell us if you're telling the truth. So it's so close. We're telling the truth. So for real, so those are fake glasses. Yeah. So these are real, his are fake. Okay, done with the boring stuff, on to the more serious stuff. Boys. What do you need to tell everybody? Tell the people. We got some girls in our life. We got girls. G -g 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 so why girls. have you not shared this information before? Just in case there's any hotties out there that wanted to call that Instagram. So tell us about these girls. All right, so mine's like super small. She's like the smallest one in her family. She's like the smallest one in her family. She's got curly hair, she's got super light hair. She's so cute. Um, mine has pretty straight and short hair, but like she's really cute. Um, and basically, she just really likes to look at me. Here we go. <laughs> See that? Okay, <laughs> so are we ready to break the secret? We're ready to break the secret. Yes, sir. We are, ma'am. Okay. Um, girl, if you're watching this, sorry, I had to I know she's you not to YouTube. I know she's not watching this, maybe but she is. maybe. Okay, before we bring him out, do you want to tell us their names? My girl's name is Mia, and how ironic they both start with M's. Mine is Macy. Okay, are they here? Yes. Are they ready to come on camera? Probably. Girls, you can come. Okay, here we go. Come on. Hi. Oh, hi. Mia, Mia, this hi. one. Come yeah. here, Mia. Oh, come here. She's a little shy. Come here. Come here. I see you. <laughs> okay, so Colton, who's this? Well, Alex, looks like your girl's cheating on you. Mia. <laughs> um, this is Mia. This is Mia. Hi, Mia. Hi. Uh, can we say hi to everyone? Okay, we're going to talk to the boys a little bit and get to know their dogs. We have never shown our dogs on here. So we decided we would dedicate a video so you can learn more about these little girls in our life. So formally introduce them. So this is Mia. Say hi to Mia. 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 Can you say hi? And this is Macy. It's Macy. So how old is Mia? Mia is 13. 13. Oh, 13. 13. 13 years old. And how old is Macy? 11. 12. 12. She's only a year younger than Mia. So... Is that right? No. No, yeah, that's she's wrong. 12. Mia is 12, she's Macy is 11. And Mia's almost 13. Well, not really. In April, she will be. 
So we got Mia when Dallin turned eight years old. So she's kind of an old grandma, actually. And we got Macy a year later so that Mia would have a little friend. And so they've been around most of the boy's life. They've been around all of Jaden's life. And so there you have it. Okay, what do you guys want to say about the, the dogs? So the girls? Mia is, technically it's all of our dog, but Mia, so me and Dallin have a birthday on, Dallin has his birthday is on the 9th of August and now I'm on the 10th. And so for our birthday present one year, we got her. So I count her as like my dog, but mine and Dallin's. But she was the runt of the litter. And I remember like picking her up and we were like, she has a little red bow, like what she has right now, but it's green. And we picked her up and we took her home and we named her Mia and had her since. Yep. So tell us a little bit about Mia. How does Mia act? Is she nice? No, she's she's super sweet with us. Like she's super sweet. Yeah, she's pretty sweet. She's pretty so sweet. let's be honest. So we decided to do a girl dog because obviously boys. I was surrounded by boys. So I thought we need another girl in the house. But what we got was a diva. You <laughs> yeah. are a diva, Mia. So Mia thinks that she is um, a Rottweiler. She thinks she's the biggest, <laughs> toughest dog on the planet. If you come near her, she will bark and she possibly will bite you. Um, she, she's in charge and she's in charge of Macy. So, and we got Mia, we bought, we paid a lot of money for her. And so, and she's a Maltese. And then Macy, one day I went grocery shopping at a store named called Macy's. And this lady was giving away free puppies. And I told Greg that I didn't feel strong because I love puppies so much. And I was afraid I was going to bring one home. And he's like, just don't go hold them. And then I talked myself through it and I'm like, okay, I feel strong. And then I went and held the puppy and then I couldn't help it. I had to bring her home. And Macy, we don't know what kind of dog she is. She we assume she's like she a, a terrier, chihuahua, chihuahua, but she is the best dog. The she best dog. Her ears. She's so fuck her ears. sweet to But she is the sweetest dog and when Mia's being naughty, she'll go over with her paw and like tap her Tap her nose and tell her to be quiet, huh? Or like she'll just come cuddle up with you and she's always trying to lick you and love you. And she is such a sweet puppy. Okay, so the boys are gonna tell you a little bit of a story about what happened when we moved into this house. All right, so two years ago when we moved in this house, uh, we moved in with our grandparents because we were in the middle of moving and while we were there, they both got out and they didn't know the neighborhood that well and so they kind of just both took off in different directions. Uh, and it was a couple hours. And then my mom looked up on this website for a different city to see if for like lost dogs. And she found a picture of Mia on there. And so we hurry and text the people that had her and we had to confirm that it was our dog. And then they told us what happened. And Mia, being Mia, the, the dog that we have, like it doesn't make really sense if you don't really know her. She ran into a main road and a man, a sweet man, stopped all traffic and went and got her and she knocked out all of her teeth because she was running. The man said that she was just, like she just got up in a ball and it was just like sitting there. But then we were able to find her. Yeah, and we thought that night she was kind of having convulsions and she's probably having like nightmares. Shaking and whimpering. Shaking and we really didn't think it was it was late. By the time we got her, it was what, like 10, 30 at night? Yeah, it was late. And we, did, we couldn't take her anywhere to be checked out and we just thought she was not gonna make it through the night. But then after we all loved on her and we gave her some food. I stayed home with her the next we day. We stayed home with her and, and like one time we got up to go take her to the bathroom and it was like she was healed. <laughs> she was fine. And here she is two years later, huh, Mia? Mia, hi. And so then this little puppy went another direction. Do you want to tell us that story? Yeah, so I don't know like the logistics of it, but all I know is she ran and basically we couldn't find her. I would take Mia on walks the day after we found her just to look for Macy um, and I'd walk all around the city. And basically we kind of gave up on her after a few days because um, of how like cold it was because at the time of year there was frost on the ground and it was like getting like low like 10 degrees i'm pretty sure right i want to share this next part is that, is that okay mm -hmm. 
Hey, it's me. I'm on the other side of the camera today. So I was going to share this next part because I want to give a shout out to my dad. Um, so Macy was gone for 11 days and we had pretty much just given up because she'd been gone. Colton, like Colton said, it was getting cold and we would go looking for her every day. But the one person who was out there, I swear, all day every day was my dad. And he had called one of his friends who used to be over um, animal control. And there was a couple times where they thought that they had found her and then it wasn't her. And so on the 11th day, I was sitting at work and I got a phone call from my dad. And he says, Becky, we got a phone call and I think I'm looking at Macy. And I'm like, I just couldn't believe it. We'd gone from... from um, dog shelter to dog shelter and we'd walk around and it was so sad because you'd get your hopes up that it was going to be her and then it was and it was just sad thinking about her out there on her own and not knowing if she'd been hit anyway so I grabbed my keys I was at work and I drove out and um, it was pretty far away from my my mom and dad's house and I pulled up my dad was there with animal control and he told me she was around the corner. So I got out of my car and I walked around the corner and I could see her across the street in the driveway, but she was so skinny. And so I yelled her name and she turned and stopped and looked at me. And then it was like she was scared. So then I sat down on the grass and she just ran as fast as she could. And she just cried and cried and cried. I'll try to put in a clip in here of her crying. but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just crying. Yeah. <laughs> just to have. But for about two hours, she just cried. She was so happy to finally be found. And the lady whose house she was at said that she would show up at nighttime and sleep on her porch, but then she'd disappear during the day. So we just could not believe it when we found her. And the boys were screaming. I FaceTimed them. Down was in the middle of class and answered his phone in the middle of class. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. I was just hoping that he wasn't in class. He was in the middle of, like, it was around lunchtime. We are transitioning, yeah, through different classes. But he answered, and he's like, his face was just, like, shocked. And everyone in his class started cheering because he had told everyone about it. And so then Alex was homesick. Mm -hmm. So I did the same thing with him. And then down and picked... Colton up from school. I was in the middle of choir class and I just got my folder that has all my music in and it. And then Down was so excited he crashed into the curb. <laughs> and we'll tell you a story about Down and his tires in another video. And then um, JJ, we waited till he got home. But do you want do you want to tell him how what happened? <laughs> so Down had told JJ that there was a huge surprise at home, like possibly yeah, a four wheeler. Mm -hmm. And so we bring him to the backyard. Why he would say that, I don't know. No, he said, like, Dad got a new job, and there's, like, like three dirt bikes and four four-wheelers and a boat and, and an airplane. And <laughs> yeah, he just told him all stuff. So, of course, he was happy to see Macy, but he's like, great, we found Macy, but where's, my, where's, where's my all my toys? <laughs> so, anyway, so that was kind of fun. Um, because Mr. are not here, my mom and dad, mostly my mom, um, went and got us... This book. And Isn't that so cute? Hold it out so I can get the front of it. Okay. So it says, Me and Macy's Pet Landia Road Trip. If you've never seen this, you can design what your dogs look like and kind of pick out a story for them. And this one fit perfect because this was like their little road trip. And so if you, here, open it up. Okay. Let's see one of them. Find your favorite page. Ooh, my favorite page. Okay, so this is his favorite page. Look, that one looks like Mia, that one looks like Macy. And it just kind of talks about how they really enjoyed their time on their vacation, and then they decided that they wanted to go home. So it fit perfectly. Is that a good present? Yes. Amazing present. Amazing. Okay, so anything else you want to say about these secrets, these girls you've kept from everybody? That they're amazing. They are amazing. I love my dogs. So, yeah, they're good puppies, huh? Yeah. Does dad love puppies? No. no. Not really. Greg doesn't really love them as much. Okay. But if you ask him, he thinks that they're, he's their favorite because he always gives them treats. What are you doing?
All right, thank you so much for watching this and meeting our girls. Beautiful little girls. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you get notified for every YouTube video we post so you can go along this journey with us. And peace. Peace.